In this session, we are going to learn about powerhouse. Let's start with a powerhouse example of a PV mini grid in Indonesia. Powerhouse is a specific building that houses and protects the electrical instruments that are sensitive to outdoor environment and weather changes. It is also protects the instruments from unauthorized access. Powerhouse has at least two rooms, one for batteries and the other one for control room that houses electrical instruments and distribution panels. As it houses important parts of a PV mini grid, a powerhouse must properly be built. The dimension and layout of powerhouse must be made so that operators can do maintenance and repairs flexibly. The common material of powerhouse depends on the availability of material in your area. However, powerhouse normally is made of brick and mortar with normal roofing, or in other cases, galvanized sheets with polyurethane insulation foam. The picture shows some examples of powerhouses in Indonesia. When sitting or building a powerhouse, several things should be considered. A powerhouse must have enough ventilation and lighting. Powerhouse must be safe from flood or water and possible intrusion of animals. Do not let animals in the powerhouse, especially rodents. It is important to have heat insulation to prevent the inside of a powerhouse to become hot that will reduce powerhouse performance, especially batteries. Remember, ventilation and heat protection are important. You must consider landslide and other potential natural disasters, such as flood or strong wind. Make sure you know what the usual natural disasters in your area are. Flood in the powerhouse will certainly ruin the electrical instrument. The top picture shows a powerhouse constructed on a platform as mitigation of seasonal flooding, while the bottom picture shows flooding in powerhouse. Here are more examples of powerhouse. The top picture shows a powerhouse constructed on a wooden platform, while the bottom picture shows powerhouse get buried by landslide. Fans is also an important component of a powerhouse. It sends message to keep unauthorized people from accessing the powerhouse and, in certain case, protects the powerhouse from animals. On the fans, make sure to put warning sign to educate people and operators. The location of powerhouse construction is also important to consider. It should not be too far from settlement to reduce distribution losses. If possible, it should be in the middle of settlement. This is how you can mitigate natural disaster like flooded and landslide. Check with locals and map about the usual flooded areas. If the only site available is regularly flooded, check the source frequency and height of the flood to enable proper design of foundation or platform for the powerhouse. Provide drainage system in the area to manage storm water. If needed, build a protection wall close to the powerhouse to reduce the danger of landslide. Give good access to the powerhouse in case of flood. The top picture shows a good example of a powerhouse area with good access to panels, and the bottom picture shows a bad example of a powerhouse whose access is not good enough or being flooded. Let us start learning about the interior of a powerhouse. The interior of a powerhouse must be kept tidy and clean. Instruments and cabling must be installed neatly and warning sign must be installed at prominent places for reminder. There are supporting equipment that should be available in a powerhouse. Safety comes first. So, the operators must keep their personal safety equipment in the powerhouse for example, safety gloves and boots that have insulation rating of 0 up to 1000 VAC or 1500 VDC. There are basic working tools that are important for daily maintenance, such as wrenches, screwdrivers, and clamp multimeters to measure AC or DC voltage and current. They must be insulated. Ladder is important for the operators to make fixes at high position or to clean the PV panels. 
Another important equipment that must be available in the powerhouse is infrared temperature gun. It allows operator to check the temperature of electrical instruments without touching them due to safety reason. Last but not least, the guidebooks from manufacturers must be available in the local language understood by the operator. All this equipment must be kept in a toolbox, be properly stored, and not be taken out from the powerhouse. A powerhouse must only house equipment for the PV mini grids operation. A powerhouse must not be accessible by any person, therefore other unnecessary equipment must be kept off from being stored in powerhouse. For example, entertainment equipment must not be stored in a powerhouse because they will attract people to come into the powerhouse. Installation of other electronic equipment will also add heat to the powerhouse. We have learned the interior of a powerhouse. Now, we are going to learn about the exterior of a powerhouse. First thing that you must consider is installing a fence. Fence protects the electrical instruments and the powerhouse from unauthorized access. It is for the safety of everyone that strong fence is a must. The fence must be at enough heat to ensure animals or unauthorized people not jumping in. It must be made of strong material that is corrosion free. Galvanized material is recommended. The height of the fence is at least 1.5 meters with distance between foundation is 2.4 meters and depth of foundation should be 45 centimeters. The distance of the fence from the ground must be set correctly to prevent animals or people from getting in from its below. The picture shows a wrong installation of fence. The foundation of a fence must be made of concrete with steel reinforcement. Two-thirds of the foundation body must be in the ground to ensure strong base for the fence. Galvanized or hot dip galvanized material is a good choice of material, especially if the fence is installed at location with high humidity or high saltiness in the air, such as area that is close to the sea. Soil erosion must be considered. Add proper drainage around the fence area to ensure the foundation is not washed away. The first picture shows that additional foundation is prepared for area with sandy soil. The second picture shows a bad example of fence installation. The fence is held by a rod that is not strong enough. Next, let us continue to the building itself. We will start with the foundation of the building. The building foundation must be made bigger than the powerhouse itself. The foundation should be at minimum 70 cm wider than the house at the front end and 20 cm at the other end. It is also should be buried for at least 50 cm. The foundation must be made of a good mix of cement and sand. A bad mix will make the foundation cracks. A strong foundation with enough width and depth will make the powerhouse table sitting on the ground and keep the instruments and batteries inside it safe for longer operation. We are going to further emphasize the importance of drainage. Proper drainage system must be installed to prevent the soil from being washed away that will ruin the foundation of powerhouse. These pictures are examples that show possible slides of powerhouse foundation. If a powerhouse must be built around steep soil, make sure there is a retention wall with enough drainage holes to prevent landslide. The next important aspect of a proper powerhouse is ventilation. Ventilation is important to keep the electrical instruments working well at the right temperature. The powerhouse must have enough ventilation to keep the interior temperature around 30 degrees Celsius or having temperature difference between external and internal not more than 2 degrees Celsius. The reason why it is important to keep the right temperature for powerhouse are Higher temperature will reduce battery lifetime significantly and right temperature keeps hydrogen concentration in the powerhouse low, especially during the process of filling up the lead acid batteries. Powerhouse temperature must be validated regularly. Cooling must be done if the temperature exceeds the allowable range. 
Ventilation is important, but you must also prevent rainwater from coming in. By installing canopy on the ventilation, air in powerhouse stays cool while keeping rainwater out. For the windows for ventilation, it is not recommended to use glass. Instead, use wired mesh windows to enable free flow of cool air coming in and hot air going out. Wired mesh should be installed for an open ventilation system to prevent small animals from coming in while keeping air flow movement. If the wire mesh is broken, replace it immediately. Do not use the mesh's wire pipe from outside or inside because big opening will let small animals enter the powerhouse. There are different sizes of wire mesh for windows. Select small wire mesh to ensure small animals cannot enter but still provide good enough airflow. The picture shows window mesh whose hole size is too big. It is not recommended because rodents still can enter. Cooling a powerhouse can be done in two methods, passive and active. Passive cooling requires no energy to move the air. It is also called natural convection. It utilizes the design of powerhouse building and surroundings to make the air move naturally and cool it. Active cooling requires energy or additional appliances to push air movement and cool it. It utilizes fan or air conditioner. Let us start with passive cooling. There are three options. First is cross ventilation that is done by locating windows or ventilation holes at two sides of opposite direction to enable natural air movement. Cool air will come in to push out the hot air from the inside powerhouse building. The placement of the windows depend on natural wind direction. Second is ventilator turbine that increases the rate of room ventilation. This turbine is usually put on the top of the roof at higher point. The third option is insulation panels, especially on the roof, that reduces heat convection by trapping hot air in the panel and uses it to stop the heat conduction from outside. If passing cooling is not enough, active cooling can be used. There are two options. A thermostat control exhaust fan forces the hot air out or the cooling air in. It is also possible to use the fans with both purposes. Air conditioner or AC can significantly cool the temperature inside the powerhouse. However, AC will consume at least 10 kWh per day. A smart energy management system must be available when deciding to use AC. If not, the battery will be exhausted easily. The next section we are going to learn is cabling installation. The most important thing to consider in cabling installation is the neat arrangement of cables. They must be well organized and protected. Cables must be laid out directly in cable trays. You also must consider correction factors because of cable groupings. Core cable sizing must be done when considering underground cable laying. And core cable sizing will increase losses or cost of cables. Never use concrete to close cable inlet to the inside of powerhouse. The use of concrete to block to close the cable inlet will reduce cable's insulation capacity and flexibility. Use proper conduit before pouring concrete. Never pour concrete to cover cables. See pictures as example. Cables must be protected by proper conduit, for example PVC pipes, before entering or exiting the powerhouse building. Proper conduit increases protection to the cables, thus increases the system lifetime and reduces losses. Drilling holes on powerhouse wall is not recommended, as sharp edges will damage insulation material and create short connection. Always use proper conduit and specified path for cables entering or exiting the powerhouse. Make sure that cables tunnels are properly protected so that no rodents, reptiles, or other small animals can enter the powerhouse through them. No animals are allowed in the powerhouse. Cabling must be installed neatly. Proper and organized cable installation helps operator or technician in doing problem solving when there is any issues. 
The last section is about flooring of a powerhouse. If possible, use ceramic tile because it is waterproof as well as tanproof, easy to clean and long-lasting. A nice and clean looking powerhouse can ensure proper operation of the system. Thank you for following through this entire session.